So I'm gonna try to wrap a bunch of weird shape stuff. And there's Kyle's butt. <laughs> Why would you, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm so red. So I have things like a little Jaeger bottle. I've done this before with the big one. Could you not? And then I have like weird shaped stuff. And I know like a bag would be awesome. <laughs> but I'd rather wrap it because it's funner. And then I have like this one, the Dicerono. And I think that's it. Oh no. And then I have one more bag. So I'm going to do that. Someone else is going to. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. All right, so on to wrapping. So you're gonna cut the paper to about the length of, a little bit over the length of the bottle, put it almost centered, and you're just gonna roll it. So you're gonna tape a piece, and then you're just gonna roll it till it's covered, and then you'll slice off the excess. So then you tape it down, and now you just kind of pull down the bottom, and then you tape that down. <laughs> and then you're gonna scrunch up the top, and tape the top down. And there you have it. That's one down and so many more to go. Is that bad to Johnny when you were at it? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Vlogmas oh, okay. oh. <laughs> Is it funny or offensive? I don't even know. Nah. I'm just Smart not going to. Nah. Why do they say so? Were you filming something? Yeah, my vlog. <laughs> <laughs> she films everybody all the time. Let's see what they say. Christmas Eve tradition. Like, you know the Jägermeister. <laughs> Huh? I'm not stupid. You're so stupid. Stop messing with me, Kyle. Damn, dude, you're just spilling it all over the place. <laughs> hey, so it's you gotta do bars on to see. Why are you <laughs> spilling it everywhere? Because it's the anticipation. You're just wasting like your face. You want me to? Red. I just think I'm laughing. Is that what you're Are you just taking shots? We're taking shots. We're not doing the bomb. make us like Randy Savage in here. <laughs> oh, God. Why are you in here? Why are you in here? Because I'm always in here. Do you want the chirping shot? I'm on. Why are you in here? Get the storm in! Wait, give it comes! Give it comes! They're all past 30. We're doing it with the red rock star. Or orange rock star. How is it practice? I'm not until you try it, right? That's why I got it. Plus it's said hydration. Oh, Jesus. Trying to be hydrated this whole time. Wait, you handed me one cup. You're not gonna die, you can be drinking Oh, wait, it is time of us. One, two, three. So, you're gonna use that one? I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna see what it's like the first time. Not inebriate yourself. It'll make the story better. Here, come on, you have one with me. Where's Grandpa at? You live here. Grandpa did it two years ago. I wanna see her try. The age doesn't really change. You see, by this time, if I was Ryan, I would already be drinking. But I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy. What? Where'd you get those shots at? Those oh, you, didn't you buy them in the party? Hey. Hey. What's up? Best cup of port. <laughs> uh, I'm not used to uh, energy drink. That's awesome. That cup was bigger than the face. Time for Christmas games. Uh, it's it's oh, yes. like after a bunch of games, too, after like a jewelry heist. As we gather together this Christmas Eve, let's us tell the tale of the Matiota family Christmas traditions. Our story begins in the early 1960s, where John, Darlene, and their three children, Darla, Susan, and Monica, anticipated Christmas's past. Everyone knew the holiday season was nearing when John pulled the floor polisher out of the hall closet <laughs> to wax the wood floors that were exposed around the overbraided rug where their little dog Patty had peed. <laughs> As John dug out the polisher, which was buried in the back of the closet, he muttered to himself, <clears throat> Oh, does this sleigh come with 22-inch rims? <laughs> <laughs> you often wondered that in the 1960s, huh? <laughs> Susan watched her father polish the pee to a shine <laughs> with such excitement, one would have thought she was watching the new Star Wars movies or something. But remember, it was the 1960s, and it didn't take much to make a little girl exclaim. Oh. <laughs> Santa's reindeers left yellow snow on my roof. <laughs> With the floors gleaming as best they could, John pulled open the orange attic stairs in the hall ceiling and pulled down the box with the artificial tree. As the cumbersome box almost knocked him down the stairs, he shouted. What did he shout? There's not enough 
Brandy in my egg no. <laughs> and that brandy my egg no. He assembled the tree by sticking the branches into the center pole. Darlene decorated the tree with old glass ornaments, and a very fake looking tree was waiting for Santa. The three girls always wanted a real tree, but their mother told them she was allergic, even though the real reason was because <laughs> the mistletoe is hanging over the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Darling, Darling always made the best fudge for Christmas. When she got out the big pot to cook the fudge on the stove, the three girls wanted to watch. She added the margarine, sugar, and milk and began to stir the ingredients to a boil. When she had to add the chocolate chips, the fudge began to thicken to the consistency of what seemed like it must be cement because she would yell at the girls to get out of the way and leave her alone, buttering under her breath. <laughs> uh. Santa read your Facebook and decided to take all your your gifts and give them to someone else. <laughs> Just because we were we were watching you make fun. That's right. Get back, out of the way. <laughs> back in the sixties, the girls got their Christmas present ideas out of the Sears uh, Montgomery Ward holiday gift catalog. As they looked through the pages of the dolls and other girl toys, Darla exclaimed, "I seen Mom kissing Santa." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Susan shouted, I'm wearing Mrs. Claus's underwear. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Monica whined, Santa has diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, with their gift ideas in mind, the girls went to see Santa at the Lauren Plaza Sears. As they sat on Santa's lap, Darla said, I think I stepped in reindeer poop. <laughs> <laughs> Susan Pete. Uh, elder, elder small, you can throw them far. <laughs> <laughs> and Monica cried. With Rudolph twerking the night away. <laughs> <laughs> the Matios always had Christmas Eve at their house. Darlene would set the table with a three-layer silver candy tray filled with her fudge in the center. All the aunts and uncles and cousins came over. The children played in their rooms as the adults partied in the living room. Occasionally from the bedroom, the children could hear an uncle shout, Santa's itty bitty yellow polka dot bikini. <laughs> <laughs> and an aunt responded, If Santa can't smoke his pipe anymore, what can he smoke? <laughs> and a grand time was had by all. One year the children had all fallen asleep, but were awakened by the sound of clicking balls. What was that noise, wondered Darla, while Susan thought, It was like my balls red and shiny. <laughs> 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 that was a little perverted. <laughs> and Monica White. <laughs> My hemorrhoids are burning like a yule log. <laughs> what? My hemorrhoids are burning like a yule log. <laughs> oh, she was always lighting and crying. <laughs> oh, it sucks. My mother came. Oh, Monica. And her mother came into the room and told them to go back to sleep or Santa wouldn't come. But it was hard to go to sleep when Santa was on his way and the adults were making so much noise, Santa would never stop. Somehow the aunts and uncles and cousins disappeared, <coughs> and it was Christmas morning. The children ran to the living room and exclaimed that as they saw the presents under the tree. Santa read your Facebook. Wrong one. Nope, I already read that one. <laughs> um, are those your nuts in my fudge? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna feel better than she read that. <laughs> <laughs> they hurried to their parents' bedroom door and knocked. All excited. Knocked and never knocked come. once. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded good. Their parents were never in a hurry to get up, it seemed. But well, we'll be up in a minute and Santa's first stop was to Starbucks to give all the baristas coal for their anti Christmas Satan cups. Oh, He's a that little, wrote that little novel. That's... <laughs> <laughs> After an eternity, they gathered around the tree and all opened presents. The girls got dolls and cribs for their dolls, and each got a slip from their grandma and grandpa. Then it was time for the big present. Their father told them to go downstairs. The girls ran downstairs and saw a mini pool table. Darla exclaimed, Hey, chingity ching, yeehaw, yeehaw, it's Dominic the donkey. 
<laughs> that was from oh, last wait, year. Oh, from years ago. Oh, my God. That was a noise I heard last night. <laughs> <laughs> Susan and Monica wondered how they heard the pool table before Santa had ever arrived and vowed to hide under the couch the next year to watch for him, but they never stayed awake to find out for sure. Grandma and Grandpa Mattiota usually had Christmas dinner at their house. All the aunts and uncles and cousins gathered. The women stayed in the kitchen and cooked while the men stayed in the living room and argued about... I play with elves. <laughs> <laughs> or... Ru <clears throat> Rudolph snows sh shorted out and electrocuted the rest of the reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> The 13 cousins stayed out of the way. At dinner, Grandpa told everyone to munja and eat everything on their plate, and if little Mary was there, the children got a little wine as well. After dinner, the women stayed in the kitchen to do the dishes, and the men stayed in the living room to argue about... Rudolph said he has a thing for the snowman. <laughs> as Christmas evening, evening neared the end, the women joined the men in the living room, and, argue, and they all argued about... Do these red velvet pants make my butt look fat? <laughs> <laughs> Did we miss somebody? No. There's one more? There should be one more. Yeah, there uh, should be. Mine wasn't red. You're red. Oh. You get to read it then. Where is it? Well, I don't know where it is. They're, no, they all got changed. That's the, the grand finale. I everyone read, everyone read finale. too. One, two, three, four. Read that one about the, the nuts again, darling. <laughs> okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll read that last sentence and then you say what you wrote. Because nobody read what okay. you wrote. Okay. So there goes the story of the Mattiota family Christmas traditions from the 1960s. And as you head out this Christmas Eve to make your own memories, keep this thought in mind. Elves are small, you can throw them far. No, <laughs> oh, I read that one. That's awesome. I did read that one. Huh? I read that one. Yeah, Mike read that one. Oh, yeah? I don't know what happened. There should have been 22. Oh, well. Game number two. Guessing the candy. Wait, there's another one? Are you getting the gobstoppers? Oh, you know. Game three. Are you going to do the, the year money, of, like every year of jacking up the prices even though you don't have the money? Yeah, that, no, that I think that's him. No, that's, no, uh, that's Mike. Yeah, that was Mike. It's either Mike or Kyle who does that. Uh, jacking up the prices when you don't oh, have no, that was Kyle last year. Bid me up and I bought something for... What did I buy? And that was like... $400. You keep running upstairs. This game gets a little old. Yeah. Ryan, Jesse, Jesse. Yeah. Jesse. Wait, 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 wait. Who's the shortest? Jesse. Oh. Oh, oh, me. Right. I ain't doing it. <laughs> if we're talking mom. Oh, you are the shortest, aren't you? Mom, mom's the shortest. So, what is it? You're more outside. You're outside. You want to buy it? Yeah. It's a buy it. Oh, you're buying it? Yeah. 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 Buy yeah. Oh, you're buying it? What do you buy? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I want oh, oh, if we're buying, I thought you meant we had to wear it. It's like, be the boys. Oh, you're buying it. You have to wear it. 40, 40. Kyle, we're more than that. I'll spend 60 on this. 60? Who's got 60? 80? Monica's at 80. 100. Yeah. Just stop it! You're wearing the damn thing there. You have to wear, wear it tomorrow. Wear it, so. Tomorrow you have to wear it at dinner. I say we stop right uh, now at 100, just so Kyle has to wear it. You at 100? Yeah. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. All right, everybody, he has 320 well, I'm now. I'm going to tell your niece <laughs> that you just screwed her out of a present in her stocking. Bye, <laughs> <laughs> Well, that ends our night. We partied, we had fun, and we had our gift exchange with our cousins, and <clears throat> we just hung out and played cash and guns and had some drinks. And till tomorrow, this ends Vlogmas Day 24. Bye, guys.